Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're gonna to be continuing our like super budget, mid budget, no budget deck building guide uh, for the green, black, or Golgari uh, explore package mid range deck. So we've already uploaded the ultra budget version that included nothing but commons and uncommons plus free cards that you get from the starter decks with exclusion of the dual lands, Overgrown Tomb and Woodland Cemetery. In a pinch, you can always play uh, tap lands. It's just that they come in a little slower as uh, we kind of demoed as I'm playing one Golgari Guildgate because I'm missing a couple Woodland Cemeteries. Um, so this version of the deck here is the mid-budget. So what we usually try to do with the mid-budget in the series is get to about 10 added rares and mythics. So it's kind of like a bridge. You've accumulated some cards, some wild cards, and these are like some reasonable cards that will be featured in the uh, ultra budget, or like the non-budget version. Uh, so you're not really concerned. So uh, from the original deck, uh, we're building around Wild Growth Walker. This is the core of the Explorer package. We're basically gaining a lot of life uh, when we play Explorer creatures. So one of the notable upgrades that we're going to be adding in is Jade Light Ranger, which double explores. So you can either sometimes turn to a Jade Light Ranger and just have a 4-3 on turn 2. Uh, it helps us draw lands, and then it makes big Wild Growth Walkers, which is really good against like the aggro decks. In addition to the deck, we've added a Vraska's Contempt, uh, dealing with a lot of the Planeswalkers, exiling creatures as needed, and then uh, we're going to two Veracity Golgari Queens. Uh, can deal with a lot of the three mana walkers, Teferi and the such, and if we flood out it can draw us cards. Um, so we're adding two of those, and then we have two Vivians, which is just a good card to dig us for more creatures, uh, destroy artifacts or enchantments or any big flyers, and the ultimate can win the game, but you still need a board presence. <laughs> And then we're also adding two fine finalities. So this can recycle our uh, early creatures, our chupacabras, and could also serve as a board wipe. Um, so Carnage Tyrant is the free one you get, so we're not really counting that in. So in total, we're adding uh, two, three, uh, seven rares, and four mythics. So 11, which is around the benchmark that we're looking for. Um, if you had crafted the free alternate art for Aska, that would be one that you already have. And at this point, if you don't have the Vivian, you can also play like Big Vraska. You can play three Vraskas instead. Um, there's a couple options that you have in that slot there. Um, for the sideboard, uh, what we added uh, was one Elder Spell as a rare. Um, because you're seeing a lot of these super friends list, Elder Spell's very powerful uh, in that, and then pretty much the same out of the sideboard right now. Nothing too dramatic. Uh, something that we'd probably look to do is shave some Chupacabras in the future and then add more Vraska's Contempt in the place of. So like we did with all the other ones, we'll play a couple uh, best of three, and then uh, towards the middle to end of the video, I'll do a couple runs in best of one, just so you can see how it plays in both formats, as it was something that was requested. I'm hoping to have both the mid-budget and the no-budget version up today, and the write-up on Reddit. Uh, this is Friday, May 24th. Hoping to have the Reddit write-up tonight. If not, tomorrow on Saturday, I should have everything up. The maintenance window this morning kind of threw me off in that sense of getting both videos up. I should also on Saturday, May 25th, have some time to be streaming most of the afternoon. Because uh, it's close to the end of the month, I want to make a push in terms of rank. So we'll be playing probably some four-color Command the Dreadboard and then some uh, Is It Phoenix as well. Um, I'm building Is It Phoenix in paper, so I'd like to get some more run with it. All right, we'll play first. French Walker into Davriel. Oh, I queued up the wrong deck. Sorry. That's the ultra budget. Uh, let's just quit. Sorry about that. This is why I shouldn't use the same art for both. <laughs> so if for the, as we get started, for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, I'm MTG Joe. We put up between three to seven videos a week on YouTube. Generally try to go live on either YouTube or Twitch. Um, you can follow all my notices at MTG underscore Joe2 on Twitter. I announce every time I go live. But everything we play live is also on the channel. 
Uh, we play everything from tier 1 to uh, jank and everything in between. Sounds a little awkward. We're missing a, do a second green, but we'll try it. In theory, we can elf if we get an untapped land to play the J-Light Ranger. Worst case, we just attack for 1 on turn 2 and then dress our opponent. This could be Grixis. Could be Izzet. But yeah, so um, we play, I was mentioning, we play everything on the channel. I like to build budget decks. It's one of the things that I've found kind of relates best. Okay, so this is it's super friends. Um, it's unfortunate we didn't hit the land there. So they have a chance to Teferi us here, which will be in a bad spot. Opponent concedes, looks like they missed the land. So them showing the Mox Opal is actually pretty indicative. Uh, we're going to bring in the Elder Spell. We're going to bring in... Uh, what did we bring in? The Plague Crafters to deal with Planeswalkers. Also going to bring in Kite Sail Freebooter. It can disrupt like removal or stuff like that. Um, I'm going to go down... I'm going to go down the cast downs, but I'll keep in some number of the Chupacabras. So, yeah, we'll do it like that. Chupacabra can still attack at the very least. Um, they sometimes bring in uh, Legion Warboss out of the sideboard. But between Vraska, Vraska's Contempt, uh, Chupacabra, and then just Blockers, we shouldn't be able to control it. His hands off of oh, come on. So we'll keep on one. Keep the line there. I want to Vraska on turn three. Kite sail can serve as disruption. This could be an opt. Could be a spell pierce as well that they could be holding up. It's actually pretty good because now we don't have to shock ourselves. So they shock us here. I'm going to take the Spell Pierce here, just because they have the two Narsets, it's not really going to do much. If they only had one Narset, we probably would have taken it. Mox Amber. It's fine, it doesn't do much. So I'm just going to do this. They get one less activation out of the Narset. I want to keep the Spell Pierce in the next turn. We're just going to Vraska and then kill the Narset. The, the life gains... Oh, they're just chaining Narsets together. Okay, so Vraska can start drawing us cards. I have reached my limit. So they'll gain another life. They are missing line drops. At this point I don't care if this dies because we got Vraska down. I have practiced against many foes like you. Uh, actually of note, we can't use Vraska's uptick Open just yet with Narset, so that's a good catch. That would have been bad, we would have sacked a land and not drawn a card. Okay, they got Dovin. Oh, that works. And opponent concedes. 
So taking down Super Friends, they did get stuck on Lions, but we kind of flooded that game, even mauling to five. So pretty good showing game one. We're running for another one. So you gotta be mindful, like if you're building decks, especially for best of three, there's a lot of Planeswalker heavy decks that look to kind of prison you out of the game. So you need to apply some initial pressure. Uh, if you don't either have ways to directly kill them, then it gets a little tricky. So waiting on the opponent. Uh, we'll keep this hand. So we'll obviously see. Okay, so they duress us, they take our duress. It's fine. Um, here, I don't want to show the that we drew a forest, so I'm just going to play out like this. Next turn, we'll Jade Light Ranger. Demir, like uh, the Demir Kefnet deck, haven't shown us much to indicate otherwise. So I'm going to keep that on top, we can start eating away at our opponent's hand. It's not unusual for the Demir deck, unlike the Esper decks, to run out of cards. So they one for one with a cry of carnarium. Seems somewhat aggressive. Now we can start picking apart their hand. Pick your brain for a minute. So they ditch another duress. Waste of Vraska's Contempt there. Actually not completely upset about that. I think them keeping this alive serves us better utility. And now we can get it back with Memorial to Folly if need be. And the hardest decision of which forest to ta not take. Okay, double thought erasure. Seems kind of aggressive, like we could be holding removal in future turns, that obviously only gets turned on. And like this instance here. Now say they play an auger, a bolus, basically anything, or a pteromander. Or exactly this, a thief of sanity. So we still have if they have spell pierce up. Oh man, we are. We have drawn nothing but lands, and we're probably in a good spot to win this. Yep. Opponent can't beat. The turn to Jade Light Ranger. Okay, so Grixis, uh, Crawl Harpooners we want in. Uh, they have the Kefnet builds. So probably we want stuff that doesn't die to cry. I might just go big like that. They have like next to no way to deal with Carnage Tyrant. Um, in terms of what to, you know what? Eldest Reborn might be too slow. I actually don't mind a lot of this. I might shave down an elf and shave down. Actually, we'll cut down two cast downs. 
and bring back the elf. Kills thief, kills thief, kills thief, kills thief, kills thief. Kills thief. So, kills thief. That's really what we want to come down to. How do we get rid of thief of sanity? They're going to bring in more cryocarnariums. Uh, we'll keep this hand. Uh, so we'll just go memorial here. Uh, here. Sorry about that. Okay, so that gets us an overgrown. I was hoping for a spell. Next turn, we're just going to throw down overgrown tomb. Oh, they duressed us. Sorry, I just received a call. So they surveil here. It's actually pretty good. We can duress now what they take. So I'm going to duress first, see what they have. So I'm going to get rid of the Cryo Carnarium here. That makes the elf survive. They can hostage take her, but we'll just kill it with Chupacabra. They can waste a Varaskus attempt, but it seems pretty low impact. That seems wrong. But sure, it's your funeral. At this point they saw we have three lands in hand, and we curve out at five most likely, six in some instances. Alright, so they're drawing Mono of Raska's Contempt. It's keeping him alive. So they're probably going to keep the Hostage Taker until they get to six mana. That's still fine, because we don't want to play out the Chupacabra, allow him to cast the Chupacabra. We get another elf. So we might want to bring in the cast downs, um, just because it's an instant speed way to deal with uh, the hostage taker. Just play that out. So the hostage taker are elf. Cast our elf. So here I'm gonna hang off for Vivian. I wanna kill this. Play out Branch Walker. Keep that on top. It's another threat. Masker Girl wipes us. Sorry, just going on mute for one sec.
stronger. You can't stop nature. Sorry, folks. Nature. Meet my newest friend. Uh, so here, I'm gonna take that. I'm going to get back the wild growth walker. Uh, I'm gonna duress first, see what our opponent has. Getting rid of Liliana's great there. kind of rough sorry so just to recap the plays the opponent cast down our creature attacked him with Masker girl Masker girl wiped our field and then they're gonna kill our Vivian here so we're pretty much dead if we don't get a good draw this turn yeah so we'll just concede this one here sorry about that was waiting on an important call and uh, they decide only when we're streaming is the time so they've shown a lot more creatures this game um, so the cast downs might be more relevant. Uh, da -da -da -da. We can go down. I think I want to go down the elves in this matchup. It's going to be a grindier match, so they're worse uh, late draw. And then uh, we'll bring in a cast down, and I think we bring in. Moment of Craving doesn't really do much. So it's between Eldest Reborn. Probably just an Eldest Reborn. Go from there. Oh, we have to add two cards. So let's do... We can go to Eldest Reborn. Just play more grindy. Yeah, so usually... Game one, we could be more aggro. They do have the Cryer Carnariums, and they do have Hostage Takers. Let's try this hand. We can double duress to mess them up. So Tyrant Scorn or Discovery. They have a Masker Girl as well we need to be aware of. I'm going to take the Discovery this turn because it throws them off. And then here we'll take the... So they got two Enter the God Eternals. Going to get rid of the Contempt here. So if we don't draw a land here, now we're starting to get punished. So we'll pass the turn here. Ah, the guild gate's a little awkward. Doesn't let us play branch walker. This is the this is a perfect example of while having the dual lines does very much help. We would have been able to play branch walker there. They wouldn't have been able to kill it most likely, and it could have potentially drawn us the land. So they're doing this to fix their mana. They'll now have blue mana. Draw land, I'm gonna start pressuring them. Okay, so they'll tire and scorn this. This should dig us into our next land. It's fine, you're gonna kill it anyways. Uh, so we're gonna graveyard this.
We have two answers for the Enter the God Eternals, plus the mill isn't the worst. So we're just gonna plus here. Wherever I go, I leave bodies in my That way. suggests that they have contempt, so it's fine at this point, because I'd rather they contempt that Vraska than a Vivian. Vivian can draw us out of this kind of rut we're in. Alright, so it's fine if we really want to land this turn. Uh, not a land. So I'll pay two life here. I want to be able to clean if they draw a land into God Eternal here. Which they will. It's poor sequ sequencing on the opponent if their intention is to play the God Eternal. My dreams dissipate like smoke. So what did they hit? Fine finality, which is fine because it's useless in her. Yeah, that's very odd sequencing. They could have exiled these cards. So here we do that. Get rid of the Ashiok. Discard next turn. Probably bring back Ashiok. So I'm gonna play out the Vivian first. They can survive at least one attack. No one knows the wilds like I do. Play out the branch get the branch walker. Again, this is just going to be a target for Enter the God Eternals. But it'll give us a turn to try to get back uh, Ashiok. Oh, perfect. We can get back Chupacabra next turn to destroy the Massacre Girl. And then we can cast down this. So that actually worked in our favor. You'll have to do better than that. So we get Chupacabra. Kill Massacre Girl. The wilds are my shield. Just play this out and then play the Overgrown Tomb. Keep that on top. Pass turn. So we're do it, waiting on this in case they have another, like, Enter the God Eternal. So here, I'm just going to do this now. They'll take our backup Vivian. Okay, not the worst. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Yep, that should be game now. They really don't have a way to kill a Carnage Tyrant. And this is where Vivian's really good. Okay, they take that, but they're taking 9 a turn. Plus whatever we draw off Vivian. This is going to start threatening to ultimate. Come to me. This is one of the weaknesses of Demir versus like an Esper. Um, you don't have a your removal board wipe is conditional. Um, yeah, let's keep it on top. It's removal. Gonna keep this in hand in case they burn like a duress or something. We don't need any more lands. And took them down. So it's super friends and Demir control. Demir mid range that we took down with this mid budget version. See what we've got, Fell Spectre. So I'm gonna play one or two best of ones depending on how long they go. Actually, I think I selected the wrong version again. Yep. Yeah. 
Have any of you guys been, or girls been playing the uh, the series to get the Planeswalker, the Momir Madness? The stained glass planeswalkers. I've gotten up to like, a, I think 11 wins. It's just very time consuming. I wish they did a different format. It's just like, do you get Teferi to bounce? Do you have a Nyx list to like kill stuff? And then just spin of the wheel. If you get anything with flying, you pretty much win the game. I've actually liked Sahili quite a bit in those. If you get Sahili and then a good curve of planeswalkers. Come on, let's queue up. Here, guild gate into wild growth if need be. Or we have the cast down, so it's quite flexibility in the hand. Just put that in top. So here we're gonna need to kill the Dreadhorde Butcher. I think it's right doing it now so they don't turn on spectacle. We'll ha go Wild Growth Walker next turn. Judith, so let's just go Wild Growth Walker. Ideally, I would have liked to play it and explore the same turn, but I'm not going to block this turn. I forgot that we can update our lands. Gotta start doing that. The Ixalan ones are awful. No blocks here. It does turn Spectacle on, but they may not be playing it. They're more likely to have shock. Ah, the mouse is sticking. Okay, so just pass the turn here. want to get up to like a finality turn. We'll just block here. Jade Light Ranger would be really good for us. This will cause the discard, so sack this turn, discard, so we might, because I wanted to try to catch this, like use this and then re revive it, but they'll get their upkeep. They ping us there. Shock us. So here, because I just sack the phoenix and get it back, I think it's actually better just bring back the branch walker and then explore. Just gives us a life total buffer. Attacks here. It's odd that they use the shock there. So they hit us for 5 8. So I'm just going to block here. They get 
one ping. So I think just getting the the Jade Light Ranger life gain. And then just pass the turn. I just want to be conservative here. One, two, three, four, five. So they hit us for four. See what we draw here. This just gains us like a lot of life. Okay, so we draw another land. And I think we just wait one more turn. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll have four, five, eight. Um, so here we need to decide. I think it's right just to do you and you. And this is the power of explore. Graveyard, graveyard. We're gonna be back up to 16. Yeah, an opponent concedes. So you saw a lot of the cards we added there the power of Jade Light Ranger, the power of Fine Finality. Um, so we'll pretty much wrap it up there. This gives us an idea, and then we'll come back hopefully later today with the non-budget version, and then I'll do the write-up. Thanks for watching for those who attended, and if you haven't done so already, subscribing is a free and easy way to support the channel. If you can hit that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner, it goes a long way to helping out. Thanks for watching, and have a great one.